Okay, in this video, we want to look at how we can manipulate um, Einstein um, equations of photoelectric effects to um, solve questions or problems that um, is involved with photoelectric effect or questions under photoelectric effect. So from Einstein's um, equation, we know that the energy of the photon or electromagnetic radiation that strikes um, the electron and knock it out from the surface of a metal. So let's draw something small over here to help us illustrate this. So we'll have, um, we have this as our metal surface, and then we have um, the photon coming in. So it will knock off this um, electron and it will leave the surface. Okay, now let's look at the energy of the photon, this photon, the energy of this photon. So the energy of the photon is giving us E, is giving us E equals to HF, F being plan, I'm sorry, H being Planck's constant, and then F being the frequency of this um, of this photon. Okay, and this same um, equation can be transformed into um, H C over um, lambda, where um, we make the frequency lambda in this relation C equals um, frequency over uh, times um, lambda. So with this we can also obtain. So this is the energy of this is the energy of the photon. Now let's manipulate this uh, equation to obtain um, several equations that will help us solve question involving photoelectric effect. So we know that when this um, um, photon strike this electron, it will give all its energy to the electron. But there is another force or minimum energy that keeps the electron bound onto the metal surface that is known as the work function. Okay, so when the energy is introduced or the energy is absorbed by this electron, it's used some part of it to overcome the work function and then the rest is um, converted to kinetic energy. And with this kinetic energy, it escapes the surface of the uh, metal. So we have HF to be equal to um, the work function and then the rest of the energy is given as kinetic energy. So with this expression, we can manipulate it and obtain several or, or, I mean, expression that can be used to find um, other um, variables concerning this um, um, phenomenon. So we can find, we know that um, from this equation, we know that HF is equal to work function plus, but we know kinetic energy is 1 over 2 mv squared. So we can make the velocity the subject here, and out of that we can find the, kinet, um, the, the velocity of this um, electron when it's escaping the surface of of the metal. So let's make V in the subject here. So we have 1 over 2 mv squared equal to lambda. Sorry. equal to HF minus work function. So V square will now be equal to 2 into brackets HF minus all divided by 2. Now we bring the square root over each And this will cancel this and then we'll have our velocity to be let's give the velocity of our velocity to be equal to two 
to H Sorry, here supposed to be M. Here's supposed to be M. Okay, so with this equation, we can find we can find the velocity of the escaping electron. Now let's look at another variable. Let's look at another variable in terms of the kinetic energy. So I will clear this side. In terms of the kinetic energy. Okay, so we know that um, kinetic energy is equal to um, HF plus, sorry. HF minus work function, but work function is also given as um, the f I mean minimum frequency or the threshold frequency. So we introduce that into this equation, and we'll have HF minus HF lambda. So we bring the h out, the Planck's constant out, and we we'll have f minus. So with this expression, we can also calculate. Um, we can also calculate the kinetic energy of the of the escaping electron. Okay. So we can also look for the threshold frequency using this formula we know that um, h equals to sorry hf equals to so when the energy of the photon is equivalent is the same as the energy required to free the electron from the surface of the metal you have your kinetic energy to be zero and so this is the equation that you will have to use so we have to make um we have to make um we have to find lambda according to this 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 equation so we know that f equal to so do you have f naught here so we know that f naught is equal to C over lambda naught from the equation of speed of light. So we will introduce this equation over here. And then we will have our HC all over lambda naught equal to work function. Okay, so we make lambda the subject and we'll have lambda to be equal to hc all over um, work function and this is the equation that we can use to obtain the minimum frequency and by the way the minimum frequency is the maximum or let me say this is the maximum frequency is the frequency that um the wave must possess and above this frequency there wouldn't be any emission of electron so that's it for this video in the next video we'll look at how to solve problem using some of these equations thank you